Mike, let's set the scene here. It's going to be a three-breast start, of course. There is no record here at the Knoxville Speedway for a three-lap uh, race, but indeed it's going to be a three-lap race. It's a winner-take-all, $5,000 check to the winner. First one to take two, uh, the races, two of the heats, is going to take home that big check here this evening. I'll tell you, I've never seen three-abreast start legally here either. This is a first for the Knoxville Raceway. There will be a lot of them try it in the races, but... Three abreast is going to be a legal start here, and they're lining up right now. Doug Wolfgang is on the inside of the AD car from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. In the middle is going to be Steve Kinzer from Bloomington, Illinois, in the 11 car. And Sammy Swindell outside of the car number one from Bartlett, Tennessee. Three abreast as they work their way around the turn. Doug Wolfgang, Kinzer, and Swindell. Three cars, three laps the distance, of course. First one to take two of the heats. Going to take $5,000. A little bumping going on as they come down to the front chute. Doug Wolfgang wasting no time. Quickly moving up there to the lead. Kinzer gets a little high, and Sammy Swindell scoots underneath him in the car number one as they work their way down through three and four on the first lap. People are on their feet here at the uh, grandstands at the Knoxville Speedway as Doug Wolfgang, of course, who some people feel is the home track here at the Speedway, quickly jumps out of the lead. Sammy Swindell in second and Kinzer back there doesn't seem to be hooked up as well in the 11 car. No, I think this one's over. Doug Wolfgang starting to stretch it out. The white flag is out, of course. Three laps the distance. Doug Wolfgang is going to try and take an early lead here in the match race. Sammy Swindell still on the throttle of the one car, running second. And also Steve Kinzer back there in the 11 and third. Doug Wolfgang works his way through three and four, and the checkered flag is going to be coming out as he brings it off at turn four. Checkered flag for Doug Wolfgang. Doug Wolfgang will pick up the first seat in the match race. Uh, Sammy Swindell will finish second, and Steve Kinzer will finish in the number three spot. But Wolfgang wasting no time, Mike Cunningham, Boy. in quickly getting out of the lead. I'll tell you, it was a good start, too. They all came down here just legal as could be, but, boy, they jumped on it right off the bat. It looked to me like Kinzer might not have been hooked up quite as well as the other. Swindell made a little push about the first or second lap, but just didn't have her. Now, one of the kickers of this, to leave them right out of the racetrack, and they're just going to move them out here, is that they do not have a chance to go in and make any adjustments, and they will move them out one spot. Steve Kinzer will go to the outside. That's going to move Wolfgang up into the middle, and Sammy Swindell this time is going to have the opportunity to start down to the bottom side of the racetrack. Heat two. Now, if Wolfgang would happen to win this one, she's all over. He takes the $5,000 and uh, probably just be happy with that here this evening as they get lined up over in three and four. Yellow flag is still out. Yellow light's still on one more time around. You'll see as they come down to the front chute there, you can see the yellow flag with Doug Clark. The flagman, there you see the lanes that they need to start in, of course, in the starting line that they have down there, Mike. Yeah, I sure do, and they're, uh, that's unusual. We usually don't start that far down the track, as we'll see later on in the evening. We usually start coming right out of four. I'll tell you what, just go out on a limb a little bit here and take it inside lane, because I think it's going to be the fast way around the track tonight. Going to find out Sammy Swindell on the Herald and that TMC chassis, of course, the Challenger chassis out of Bartlett, Tennessee. Doug Wolfgang, 48 feature wins, of course, right here, and he is driving the DP Motorsports Race car here this evening, yellow light is off, yellow flag in, heat number two coming up. It's Swindell, Wolfgang, and Kinzer from bottom to top as they work their way off at turn four. Green flag is out, Swindell this time. Found that bottom to his liking. Wolfgang again gets just a little bit high. Kinzer still having a tough time, but Wolfgang is knocking on the door as they head down to the next shoot. Sammy Swindell, Doug Wolfgang sets it down into turn three off at turn four. They come down the front shoot for the first lap of the heat number two. Wolfgang can get around him and pick up the win. He'll get that $5,000. First one to take two of the heats, but Sammy Swindell is hooking up in this one a little better in the one car. It goes out by about four car lengths. There you see the good-looking TMC chassis, and as he brings it off at turn four, white flag looking at him in the face. It's Sammy Swindell and Wolfgang, but Wolfgang's going to make a bid here on the last lap. Wolfgang sure is, and he's got that outside lane going out there. Watch him make a little run right here going down the back stretch. Here comes Wolfgang. Challenging. It's still Swindell. Wolfgang coming up to challenge through three and four. Sammy trying to hold him up. Wolfgang down to the bottom side. It's going to be Sammy Swindell. Hey, we're going to get to go one more time, Mick. Sammy Swindell in the one car picks up the second heat. Doug Wolfgang settles for the number two spot, and Steve Kinzer in the 11 car, nowhere to be found, and apparently not hooking it up. Didn't read the track just correctly right here for this match race. No, he really didn't, and he's been just a little rocky the last couple, three weeks, where uh, Wolfgang was just here not too long ago and stole the show on a, on a couple night show in June. He's been running real well here. Well, in the 38th, that'll move Steve Kinzer down to the inside from Bloomington, Indiana. That's been the liking to the drivers so far. In the middle is going to be the one, Sammy Swindell, outside the 8D of Doug Wolfgang. Sammy 
of course, won the second one. Doug Wolfgang won the first heat. Of course, either either one of those two drivers would pick up one of these. Well, they will pick up the $5,000 check here at the Independent Trend for the USCA show here at the Knoxville Raceway. Steve Kinzer's got that bottom side. Yellow light still on. That's where the winners have come so far here in the first two heats, Mike. He just doesn't seem to be able to hook up good enough, though. I'll look for one of these other two guys on the outside to come here. Uh, the fans are really loving this. You know what that make? They're having a good time with this. Well, it's going to be Kinzer down in the inside, but Sammy's going to be able to start at the inside. It's kind of been interesting. The middle spot's kind of skated a little bit up there and turned one both times around. Yellow light still on. Should be looking for a green next time around. People are on their feet here for this one. Yeah, I believe that a lot of them are in for Doug Wolfgang, of course, the man that uh, has had many laps here at the Speedway. Uh, he really was a regular here two or three years. Yellow light is off. Yellow flag back in the holder. Steve Kinzer on the inside. They come around to the lanes. You'll see the white line there. You see Doug Clark, the flagman, taking a look at him. Kinzer, Wolfie got a little bit of a slow oh. start that time. Kinzer this time is going to move up into the lane. See if he can hold it. Sammy Swindell, the one car in second. Here comes oh. Wolfgang. Wolfgang just powers up oh, by man. Swindell. Oh, man, did he make a move going into two? Into second, up two, three, and four. It's still Kinzer, leader Wolfgang in second, and Swindell now trailing. Kinzer trying to even this match race up. Uh, Steve Kinzer started the inside of the uh, single file, or the uh, three abreast start, I should say. Kinzer, Doug Wolfgang, and Sammy Swindell, one, two, and three, and Kinzer really warming things up. White flag is out. One lap to go. You probably couldn't ask for anything more, but each of them to win one before the final tally, and the final check is given out as Steve Kinzer in the 11 car bobbles a little off at turn two and down the back chute. If Wolfgang's going to do it and pick up the 5,000, this one he's going to have to do it in a hurry. Sammy off the throttle. Wolfgang making a last bid, but no can do. It's going to be the 11 of Steve Kinzer. <laughs> Talk about drama set. He coming up. Looks like that inside lane is really hopping to get out. Every time the inside Man. lane has been in, and that time it is the 11 of Steve Kinzer from Bloomington, Indiana, in the Carl Kinzer car. The gambler chassis, there you see a good look at Steve Kinzer, of course, uh, picks up that third heat. So Doug Wolfgang won the first heat with Sammy finishing second, Steve Kinzer third, but the second heat finished with Sammy, Doug, and then Steve, and then just throw that out and put Steve Kinzer up into the win spot with Doug Wolfgang second and Sammy Swindell third, but Wolfgang's been the most consistent here so far. He made a couple real nice moves in two. He's very good coming out of two every time. That could be the key on this start. Well, the yellow light is still on this time. It looks like it's going to be Doug Wolfgang down to the bottom side of the racetrack with Steve Kinzer in the middle and Sammy Swindell on the outside of the one car. And if everything holds true, the inside has been the spot. Wolfgang bobbled a little bit on the start there that time as they came by the white line. Wolfgang not quite on the throttle as quickly as the other two. And people are going to be on their feet. The winner of this one is going to pick up the $5,000 check here. Well, winner take all. Yeah, second, third doesn't pay very well on this one. <laughs> More so than that, probably ragging rights. Yellow light is off, nowhere else to go but the $5,000 check. Doug Wolfgang down to the bottom side of the AD. Steve Kinzer in the 11 and Sammy Swindell in the one car on the outside. Up through turn four. They're going to get the green on the start. Down the front, shoot, they go. They get a green. Wolfgang gets a good lead as they go in. Swindell oh, cars Swindell. To get down to the bottom side. Kinzer hooking up on the cushion. Yellow's out. Yellow is out. They're going to get a restart. Gonna get a restart. Whoopi really got a good start of that one. Oh, Mike. Just outstanding. I'm not sure it might have been a little bit too quick here. But uh, Doug Clark always will drop the green flag. If he's not happy, then he'll drop the yellow and have a restart. But Wolfgang really got off. So again, they will line them up here. Three abreast here on the match race. The winner of this one is gonna turn three and four. It's three abreast start as they work their way off at turn four. This is the winner is going to take it all as they work their way off at turn four. This one, Wolfgang gets off the throttle and Kinzer. Well, maybe a little uh, mind game, you think? Yeah, yellow light is yellow come flag on. I don't know, Wolfgang, I think, uh, wasn't happy with the first one. Thought he got a pretty good. Kinzer again, Sammy Swindell tries to duck down to the bottom side. Kinzer working well on the top side. Sammy off the throttle, hit a rut back there in oh. turn two. Kinzer almost hit the fence. Up to three and four, and Wolfgang is on the throttle in the 8D car. Steve Kinzer in second, and Sammy Swindell back in the throttle in third. But Doug Wolfgang from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with about a four-car length lead over Steve Kinzer in the 11, and Sammy Swindell in the one car. And man, is he starting to stretch it out. Swindell off the throttle, knows he's beat. 
Doug Wolfgang's going to get the white flag, meaning one more lap, and he's $5,000 richer. The 9,000 people are on their feet here at the grandstands of the Marion County Fairgrounds watching Doug Wolfgang getting closer, oh, so close, a half a lap to go, and he has stretched out a half, a straightaway lead, Swindell back in the pit area, and it's going to be the 8D of Doug Wolfgang. Doug Wolfgang will pick up the match race in the $5,000 with Steve Kinzer in the 11 car having to settle for the number two spot, and Sammy Swindell hit a run over in turn two, takes her back out of the pit area, but Doug Wolfgang five grand richer. I'll tell you, Kinzer almost had him back there coming out of two and got up in the marbles a little bit. I think he had a good chance to pass there. Maybe a little bumper in the loose stuff, but that was really exciting. That was a lot of fun to watch. Couldn't ask for anything more that time. It was Doug Wolfgang in the AD car, the winner of the match race. $5,000 brings her down to the front shoot, of course, to present it, be presented the uh, big check here this evening. And boy, what a great match race. Couldn't ask for anything more. All three picking up one. And then, of course, Doug Wolfgang going on and winning it. And like you said, I think the fans really appreciated that. And they let it be known. They were standing and screaming the whole time. And uh, he was just here about a month ago and did the same thing, winning both features. Real hometown favorite. Boy, that is for sure. Couldn't ask for a better race here this evening. As uh, Doug Wolfgang said down to the uh, front shoot here, let's go down and see what the winner has to say with Tim Trier. Winner of, tonight, winner of tonight's match race, and here comes the $5,000 check, Doug, Doug Wolfgang. <laughs> Doug, it looked like a lot of the difference was right on the starts. You were able to start down on the inside the first round and then the fourth round, but there was some racing getting in and around the turns. Well, I th like I said, three laps aren't re isn't really enough time to get lined out, and I, th I think they're running equal, and just uh, it's a little shorter round on the bottom, and... Uh, on the start and you get the inside lines a little quicker than the outside line right now early in the night but it might not be later so that's about all there was to it as far as you know in your racing career have you ever had a start where you've had a three abreast start like that uh, i think we did in australia one time but i don't remember any other time and it was in the rain too so it didn't really matter <laughs> when you went out and uh, first put your foot down on the initial start did you have any idea that perhaps the inside might have been a little bit better starting position. Yeah, I watched the water truck earlier, and he looked like he watered the heck out of the inside more than he did the when I was here, more so than the outside. And uh, usually the guy, the cars will drift up, so the inside was still there if you can stay right on it. <laughs> A driver of your caliber would notice something like that and be out early to notice things. Well, uh, he paid five thousand. It's my job to notice. <laughs> Congratulations to you, Doug. It was a nice drive. You've still got plenty of racing left this evening. Well, I appreciate it, and thanks for having us here. And uh, I want to thank Knoxville Raceway for uh, you know getting in the USA Sprints here. Winner of tonight's Best of the West, the Match Race, Doug Wolfgang. <laughs>